It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. I just want to apologize for that terrible accent I did, even though I'm not really sure what type of accent it even was. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And be sure to share your thoughts and opinions on this topic, as well as some suggestions you may have down in the comments section. And because Sony is leaving me no choice here, I bring you part 3 or part 2, depending on how you look at it, of PlayStation Vita games to get on the store just in case and if you've been following the news on this channel as of late well you know that that just in case is very important now at this point because who knows how long the ps vita store has left at this point and many of the games i'm about to show you would not only qualify as some great must-have ps vita digital games to pick up but also some hidden gems on the platform too so if you're into that stay tuned here be the first game r cell damage yup i am still such a sucker for the original cell damage well, i guess i should just say cell damage in general because we've never actually gotten a sequel to this. And why is that, pray tell, devs? But oh well, the original will always do the trick. Take control of the world's nuttiest cartoon drivers to demolish your friends with insane weapons and wacky arena hazards. Master the single player mode to get a leg up on the competition. Featuring 30 plus cartoon weapons like giant hammers, TNT sheep, and shrink ray. Just wanted to tell you, I'm a huge fan of the TNT sheep. 10 unique characters and vehicles to play, each with different driving characteristics. 13 arenas from a wild west ghost town to the inside of a moon crater. Three game modes, racing, deathmatch, and capture the flag bring a little bit of spice to the gameplay. And what I especially loved about this version is three cartoon cross saves. Play on the go on your PlayStation Vita system and then continue on the PS4 and or PS3. 100 tons of fun to watch. Now admittedly here I don't really know how the online connectivity works with this game because well it's pretty old. But regardless of the way you choose to play it, I highly recommend playing it. Think of it as if what would happen if Wacky Races had a PS Vita port. Man, I love that Dreamcast game. What could possibly be the next game? Well, that happens to be Kick and Finnick. Um, coincidence? Never heard of this title? I don't blame you, a lot of people haven't. But it is completely awesome. But with such a bizarre title such as Kick and Finnick, or Fennec, I guess, depending on the way you want to say it. What could this game possibly be about? I mean, it doesn't really roll off the tongue such as Ratchet & Clank does. Let's just face it here. But Kick and Fennec is a platform adventure about a little boy with a special, very special gun. Soon after waking up in the desolate but colorful world, Kick meets a small flying robot named Fennec. When Fennec saves Kick from a menacing guard robot, they find out Fennec's battery is broken. Together, they embark on an adventure to the core tower to find Fennec a new energy core. And along the way, are about to probably get into some mischief. This is a video game after all. And I guess the obvious reference here would be to Ratchet and Clank, which is why I referenced it. Um, coincidence? And being that this is in fact a platformer, it comes with all the usual suspects here. Portals, bounce pads, zip ramps, you know, you've seen this stuff done before. But it kind of adds a little twist to it by giving a sort of Angry Birds meet Super Mario vibe to it, I guess. And I'm not alone in feeling that way, many others feel the same. At least for the very few others who have also played this title. And if you're one of them and love platforming games, what are you waiting for? Pick this one up today, we gotta increase the sales of this. And hop on this very empty hype train that I happen to be on. <clears throat> Next game. Now for anyone at this point who was thinking that I was going to be veering away from the whole mechanical theme here, well, you'd be wrong, I got another one. And by sheer coincidence here, another 3D platformer. This can be no coincidence. But it is a licensed product which could get me in trouble for copyright. Hopefully not. This is Phineas and Ferb, Day of Doofenberg, Day of Doofenshmer, Day of Doofen whoever this guy is, or whatever this thing is. It would probably be a good time to note now that I have never watched a single episode of this show, but the game is pretty awesome. Now I know what you're thinking here, oh what, a licensed game, <clears throat> shovelware, and no, you'd actually be wrong, and pleasantly so too, because I was a surprise to learn when I got a hold of this title that it actually is a very solid platformer. I wouldn't go on par here to say that it's like a super classic or anything like that, but it's certainly a lot better than you'd first think. So the premise 
premise for this game and honestly I'm probably the last individual that you would probably want to even be telling you about this because I've never watched the show before but you play as Phineas and Ferb, the main two kids, along with some detective platypus guy or something and they have to stop this evil scientist guy who is like doing this whole trucker zilla thing with like this big mechanical monster truck that's made of like a Volkswagen or something like that and I guess they gotta save the world or the city or the town or whatever. Although I wasn't too much into the storyline of this, I did in fact enjoy the platforming. The controls are very solid and responsive and the visuals, oh man, the visuals are so much better than you'd expect with a nice cell shaded look as you can see here. Now just wanted to add a little disclaimer here for my US friends. Sadly over here in the United States this game got a digital only release but if you live over in Europe they were graced with an actual physical copy of the game which the way PS Vita collecting has been going as of late I probably just quadrupled the price by saying that. But anyway it's an option. Now for those who might have been expecting a licensed PS Vita game again, no, thankfully we've dodged that bullet, which always makes me extremely nervous. This is Toho Kabuto V Burst Battle. Well, it may not be a licensed property, but it does have an extremely long one. Anyway, Toho is a bullet hell battle game that takes place in the Toho universe, which much like with Phineas and Firm, I know little to nothing about. But much like with that game, this one is incredibly fun. Take control of one of nine Toho characters and eliminate your opponent using bullet hell patterns, melee attack, or spell cards featuring ear tingling beats for each character you might just find yourself dancing while you play. Wouldn't be the first time for me. Now if you were to sit me down, put me under a heated lamp and ask me, or in this case interrogate me, why I love this game so much, it's because of its bullet hell elements. We Now we tend to see this in shmups all the time, heck we even seem to see it in platformers occasionally. But this is one of the few times where I've actually seen it implemented in a versus sort of fighting power stone type of game. And in my humble opinion that's what makes this game pretty special. Now for any fighting game fans out there, do not worry, I haven't forgotten about you. This is Undernight in Birth. Admittedly kind of a misleading name unless you actually know what it's about. And it's a fighting game. Undernight in Birth includes a gallery of characters to fight as, a robust story mode, a tutorial mode, enhanced online battles, and much more. In Undernight in Birth, you pick one of the unique fighters and fight your way through the dangers of the Hollow Knight and claim your victory over those who would get in your way. And since this is a fighting game, we can assume there's going to be a lot of people getting in our way. Experience intuitive and tight 2D fighting controls with a slash of devastating combos and unique battling styles to keep your appetite for battle stated. And I don't think I really have to explain this because you're probably seeing it on screen here, but it, the game kind of plays like a cross between Samurai Showdown and the Guilty Gear series, with a little bit of blaze blue to top it off. It's definitely very stylish. And if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know there are two things I absolutely adore in life. One, waifus. Two, violence. Violence. And this one will give you both. Ah, uh, this video had it all. Violence, racing, uh, stopping mad scientists, and probably a bunch of other stuff that I've forgotten. But that will conclude the video. These are the games that I recommend you pick up right now and that are must-haves on the PS Vita store while you still can, just in case. But as always, I'd love to hear your suggestions, guys. What games do you recommend others to pick up? Make sure to leave them down in the comment section so we can all help one another. And who knows, maybe you'll see one of your choices in an upcoming video. And as always, fellow Vita fans, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Alan Iwazu, Shin Snake, Joseph Raismick, Freighton, Zakrito, Robert Johnson, Lucian Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, Neo Arashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, McKees Blob, Dr. Super Artie, Rump King, Donut Valley, Jackie, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Saqib Alam, Smug Wolf, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monty, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Burzen Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Jamie, Crazy Cat, Colossus, Michael O'Connor, Robert Sylvester, Larry Anderson, H Hitter, Jelly, Lori Sweeney, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sony, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Clayton Marlarkey, BMF, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Pierre Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, David Ray, 
Wendy K, Hemdal Imbert, and Gutter Drums. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. And you know, come to think of it, this video was missing something. Root beer. Definitely, definitely needed more root beer. Thank <laughs> you.